When it comes to developing yourself as an artist, it helps to build on top of the things that you've already been studying. So in today's project, we're gonna work on building on top of some of the previous skills we've learned in some of the previous videos by working on painting abstract geometric shapes. Let's jump right into it. This video is sponsored by artwithmark.com where you can find more in-depth guides on how to make, market, and monetize art. So we're gonna be building on three of the previous videos that have been featured in the abstract painting series I'm building on. Uh, one of them is using masking tape or painter's tape. Uh, the other is going to be utilizing some of the blending techniques I've demonstrated in the blending techniques video. And then the third is to build on some of our basic elements of art. All right, so for today, I'm actually not painting on a canvas. Uh, the One of the only smaller size pieces that I have left to paint on is actually a wood panel. So the first step we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and prep this wood panel so that way we can get it painted. There's just a couple of steps we need to take for the prep to help to make the paint set and make the colors the best. First thing that we need to do, the wood has impurities we need to remove. It's a critical mission that you mustn't abandon. Get some fine grip paper and you better get sanding. The next little tip is really simple and plain. When you go to do your sanding, you should go with the grain. Any time to go against it, our scratches should be blended. It's the details of attention that will tap into dimensions. For artistic comprehension that will give your skills extension. It will capture more attention when your painting looks so splendid. The next thing that we need to discuss is the removal of dust. You can just use a brush. It really doesn't take much. Come on guys, that's, that's a pretty simple one. It's time to seal the surface so our painting isn't worthless. Using gesso with the purpose, putting primer into service. I usually use about four to six layers. It gives something to paint to here to later. So over the course of time, we know what painting will stay there. There's a lot we need to learn to become a good painter. Care or don't care, it's a skill that's in danger. You gotta keep pushing if you wanna be major. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did get any value or pleasure out of that little wrap thing that I just did, hit the like button, or maybe even let me know in the comments below. I'm trying a couple of different things in this video to see what, uh, what you guys like better. Uh, so before we move on, uh, I just did wanna take a moment to elaborate on that just in case that was hard to understand. Uh, the first step was to sand your wood surface. The second step was to remove all of the debris. You can use a dry paintbrush or maybe even a wet rag if you would like. And uh, then the third step is to do a few layers of gesso. Uh, so for gesso, I did four layers on this particular wood panel. Uh, the panel that I'm using today is what's called a cradled panel. So it has a frame around it and it makes it so you can hang it on the wall when you're finished, which as you can tell, I like to do. Uh, and then the other thing is we're going to be painting this. Oh, it's really hard to see the lights reflecting off of it. Uh, I'll go ahead and put something on the screen right about now so you can see what we're going to be making. Uh, I just did a, a quick little rendering in Procreate to kind of get some ideas. And yeah, I did already start. So let's go ahead and roll that footage.
as you can see, Abstract Painting Geometric Shapes is a pretty easy project for any beginner painter to give it a try. All you really need is painter's tape or masking tape on hand, and you can give it a go. It's uh, super easy to do. Uh, if you were interested, interested in checking out any of those other videos I did on blending techniques and some of the other things discussed in this video, go ahead and check out this playlist right here.